Y share alguna historia en el trabajo, así que luego me conecto. Good evening, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, teacher, I hear you. Oh, thank you very much. How are you? This is another, another account. It's not the same one. Uh, I see two. English oh, yeah, it's, it's just, ah, no, yeah. don't worry. Mm -hmm. How are you? Did I'm you have fine. a good day? It's still working. I, I'm fine. I call to my phone. Oh, nice. You are at home already. Yes. Are you working tomorrow? Uh, thank God, no. <laughs> thank God, yes, it's a holiday. Yes, it's the holidays of mothers. mothers. Okay, do you still have your mother? And today, no, no, tomorrow, yes, I, I, I can say. Are you going can. to prepare anything for your mom? Uh, Hey, Good evening. Julia Cesar. Good evening. Nice to meet you. I know. <laughs> this is the first time. Aún aquí en el trabajo. It's still working. Yes. Where? Um, At the store. Yes. Okay. Because it's a popular holiday, so you have to attend your customers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's true. Many people look for appliances, electronics for mothers. Okay. All right. Glad to see you. Okay. Sorry, Salvador. You say you were going to prepare something for your mom? Uh, I think to my, with my brother, uh, I, uh, I plan to. Okay, you plan something. All right. Okay, nice. What, what do you say? Almuerzo. Uh, lunch. Lunch. Yeah, you're preparing a special lunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Me too. I was... <laughs> in contact with my brother too. well i have three brothers but one of my well my oldest brother yeah we were talking and talking to prepare something for my mom tomorrow oh, because really? i mean we're all busy but mothers always expect their kids to arrive home and your mom uh, live uh... Far away. In Hilo Vasco. It's close. No, my mom lives in Hilo Vasco and I live in San Salvador. Uh, 
Wow. It's 62 kilometers, 62, 63 kilometers away from San Salvador. Okay. It's like going to San Sanate. Uh, yes, in San Sanate. Mm -hmm. Right. Mi mamá mi mamá is there. Your mom is in San Sanate too. Sí. All right. So she lives near. Very nice. That's great. Thank God. Is everybody from near you? Do you live near your mom? Are you having a special gathering or meeting with your mom tomorrow? Yes, teacher. Tomorrow I'm going to visit my mother. And where does she live? Uh, she lives in Lourdes, Colón. Near. Near, yeah. Uh, on 10, the way. <laughs> 10 kilometers above. Yes. On the way, you just get down from Hayaque and you get to Lourdes, right? Yes. Thank God, you don't have to go through Los Chorros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or pass near a uh, shopping cost. Yes, uh, for example, tomorrow I'm going to to shopping at supermarket, then I visit my mom. You're gonna prepare the food. And I think so, I buy a, a cake for my mom. I know, me too, I'm buying a cake. But the most difficult, I think, is to move from here to Ilovasco yeah. because it's far. Yeah. But then Ilovasco. it's okay. Uh -huh. Ilovasco is beautiful. Yes. Nice. Yes. It's only, only, only beautiful people. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, the town, the city is, is cute. It's picturesque. It's kind of colonial, but it's hot. The weather is hot. The weather is not very okay. nice. Okay. I remember several years ago, mm -hmm. I visited mm, La Presa. Oh, lo que es yes. El Cerrón. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is going to Tejutepeque. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, it's kind of far. Yeah, Tejute is pretty cool because it's on the top of a mountain. Well, not a mountain exactly, but on the top of a hill. And it okay. and it's it connects with the with uh Lempa River, so it's cool. But the city, the city, the downtown in Lovasco is hot. It's very hot. Mm, yeah. But the but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, definitely. Now it's getting modern. It's getting a lot modern. Now they have a lot of lots are you, of are you visiting your mother tomorrow? Tomorrow, exactly. I'm going in the morning and I'm coming back in the evening because I got to work on Thursday. And if I come on Thursday in the morning, I have to come at 3 a.m. in the morning. So no thanks. <laughs> too early. <laughs> yes, very early. It's too early and it, and it can be dangerous. <clears throat> so okay. I'd rather come tomorrow in the evening. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody else, welcome. I see Gilberto connected, Julio, Salvador, Mary, Rolando, Carlos, Andrea, Kathy, Catherine, Hazel, and Virginia. Welcome, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you are doing great. And I hope we can practice and learn a lot throughout this class today. Well, good vibes. I hope you have everything ready for tomorrow, that you have already planned everything. I bought, well, today we had a celebration, Mother's Day at my work, because we don't see our colleagues who are mothers tomorrow. So I've been planning a lot. <laughs> okay. So it's time to have the attendance. Let's have the attendance. Andrea Monge, hello. Present. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Great. Carlos Sarceño. Denis Fernando. Gilberto. Present teacher. Hey. <laughs> Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Hazel. Good evening. Present. Hello. Good evening. Jose Andres. Not here, right? 
Julio Cesar, still working. Catherine Beatriz. Present. Hey, Katy Briseida. Present. Mary Realejeño. Mary, Mary. Por ahí está Mary. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo. Present teacher. Rudy. Present. Ay, ya. No se me encendía. It's okay, Mary. Don't worry. Present teacher. Hi. <laughs> Salvador. Andrea Urbina. Virginia. Present William. teacher. Hello. William, William, not here. Oh my goodness. It's been a while, I don't see William. I think. All right. <clears throat> First of all, we're gonna talk about the platform. <laughs> How do you feel the exercises from this unit on the platform? Any inconvenience, any problem, any difficulty? No, easy peasy. Yes, the use of the past tense, the past verbs, the irregular verbs, the regular verbs, affirmative sentence, negative sentences. All right, all cool. Nice, thank God. If you have any issue and inconvenience, just let us know so we can find out. We can compare, we can share, so we can find and solve the exercises. We can find the answer. All right, let me share a screen. Oh my God. Right? All right, so our class today is the class number 13. It's May the 9th and tomorrow is Mother's Day. So we have a holiday, no classes tomorrow. Don't forget, we have classes until next Thursday. All right. The reminders, as usual. And the class objective as customers, questions to confirm that they got was promise. And write three, yes, no questions. Use it the simple past correctly, individually, in order to ask them to their classmates. So basically, the objective is to ask customers questions to confirm if they got or that they got what they were promised, okay? And of course, to ask and answer yes, no questions in past tense, okay? So this is practically what we're going to do. All right, Jose says he's on the way home. All right, good. The simple past. Yesterday, we talked about, well, these two days, we have been talking. Actually, we started on last Friday with affirmative sentences, especially with the verb be in past. I was at home yesterday. I was at work this morning. He was my boss in the previous job, yes? The customer was very mad. Or oh, the agent was really kind, right? So we especially talked about past tense and affirmative. And yesterday we also talked about the negative form. So let me just move something right here. Wait a second. I think it's because we cannot move. All right, it's right here. So the simple past. In positive, negative, and question form. This is an example, of course, right? With the simple verb work. I worked, you worked, we worked, they worked, she worked, he worked. Okay, do we have any other? It worked. Right. So, for the negative, we know that we have to add the auxiliary. Did not but the contraction of did not is didn't. And of course, we don't put the verb in past anymore. 
we put the base form of the verb. And it says, I didn't work. You didn't work. We didn't work. We don't say we didn't work. No, not anymore because we already have the auxiliary. So we say we didn't work. They didn't work. She didn't work. It didn't work. He didn't work. It didn't work. Right? And for the question, you need the auxiliary. Did. Did. Did you work? Did I work? Did we work? Did they work? Did she work? Did he work? Did it work? All right. Questions with, did you? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes? For example, if I say, Mary, did you drink soda today? What? <laughs> <laughs> did you drink soda today did you drink soda today yes I did no I didn't no I didn't thank god <laughs> <laughs> mi azúcar no me lo permite <laughs> Mary did you eat cake today uh, did you eat Cake. Um, probably. <laughs> no, no, probably. Si comió, no comió. <laughs> yes, I did. No, I didn't. Es algo que ya pasó. It's about the past. Yes, I did. Ah, ya veo, <laughs> pero la sugar level. <laughs> I know. Me, Me vi obligada. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because of the celebration, Mother's Day, right? <coughs> yes. Ajá, lo mismo pasó at my work. Ajá. Entonces, si nos hacen una cuestión con Did you drink water? It's all right, Mary. Drink water. Yeah. Okay, yes. It's all right. Si nos hacen una cuestión con Did you, tenemos dos opciones. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. But, vamos a formular three questions. Three questions que le podemos hacer a nuestros partners. Preguntándole acerca de actividades que... ¿Hicieron o no hicieron este día? Obviamente, podemos usar cualquier verbo. Did you eat? Did you drink? Did you go? Did you play? Yes? But about today. Si yo le digo a Mr. Gilberto, Did you drive a car today? Uh, I work in... Did you drive a car today? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. So simple question. <clears throat> yes, I did. No, I didn't. Simple answer. Did you take a nap today? Mr. Gilberto Santa Maria, did you take a nap today? Se tomó una siesta este día. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No time. <laughs> did you drink coffee today? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Va, entonces, ese tipo de questions. Acerca de cosas que ustedes quieren saber si sus padres hicieron o no hicieron este día. Three questions con did you. Las escriben en su notebook y cuando las tengan listas me avisan. ¿Ya? All right. All right, let's go.
Le diste la tortilla a Chucha. Are you ready? Did you write the question? Yes. Yes. Great. Everybody else? Yes. yes. Got it. All right. So you're going to ask these questions to your partners, okay? So if still somebody needs some help to create, to write, the yes, no questions, you help, all right? So this is about helping each other. Let me see. I think that this is enough. Possible answers, yes, I did, no, I didn't. That's it. And then you can explain if you want. Ajá, eh, dijo, dijo Huerta. Sí, como en forma de pregunta. Uh -huh. Yo las que puse fueron estas. Did you go to the work today? La número dos es: Did you drink water today? Did you eat pupusas in the dinner? Yes, I did, or, or not. Uh -huh. you did. Yes, en, en respuesta corta sería, yes, I did. Yes. Yes. We didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, number two. Did you take a bus yesterday? Repeat. Did you take a bus yesterday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Number three. Uh, did you have a lunch? Yes, I did. <clears throat> mm. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Eh, usted ya la tiene, Salvador. Sí. Okay, la vamos a escuchar. Okay. Uh, did you work today? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Ajá. <laughs> es mi día libre. <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> me salió largo porque me van a dar mañana también. <laughs> Good. Ah, está bien. Excellent. Uh, another question. A la de convertir al pasado. No ha llegado a la que, la que, las oraciones de Wash. 
pasarlas mm. al pasado. No. Todavía no ha llegado ahí. No. Ok. No. El, el, el watching hello teacher hey you already eh, finished no it, it's because eh, Julio César eh, mm -hmm. and William Roque I don't know all right you got your own question so maybe you can practice with another group no problem okay all right okay okay thanks Cara como oyente. Ok, creo que está ahí como, como oyente, quizá. Ok, estas preguntas así las vamos a encontrar en la, en la plataforma. Exactita. Sí. Ah, pero hay unas que dice que tenemos que cambiarlas de positivas a negativas o viceversa. Sí, pero el cuadro que nos presentaba la teacher ahí, quiero ver, eh, antes de mandarnos acá a la salita, ahí, ahí, ahí no, bueno, me ubico yo un poquito más en la forma negativa y en pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, porque ay, sí. No. por mi voluntad propia daba día, noche, ay, me fui a acostarme <risa> porque no pude. <risa> Pero dije yo, sí, ni hemos visto eso, ¿cómo voy a saber? <risa> sí, la verdad que hoy, ahora vamos, creo que llegaríamos a una página donde ya explica las oraciones negativas a volverlas a positivas sí. solo que es de tener cuidado porque cuando usamos el did el verbo queda en su forma base ¿verdad? por ejemplo sí. did you work sí. eh, queda en su forma base pero si ya ya le quitamos el did ahí ya el verbo podría cambiar ¿verdad? dependiendo del tiempo que estemos usando sí Ajá, ese cuidado debemos de tener. All right, everybody finished? Did you practice? Good. Yes. All right, let's see. Robert, yes, who did you practice with? Hey, Robert. I practice with Maria Leticia okay. in Salvador. Okay, and which are the questions? Okay, my question is the following. Uh -huh. Number one, did you celebrate Mother Days today in your company? Uh -huh. And they answered, no, I didn't. They didn't? No, I, uh -huh. no, they didn't. All right. And question number two, did you take a bus yesterday? 
she uh, they answer no they didn't no they didn't all right yes and question her? number three did mm -hmm. you did you have a lunch and they answer yes they, they did didn't. they did yes they did all right nice good all right robert you pick the next person to participate okay let me see let me see uh kathy let's kathy <laughs> kathy briseida yes. yes you can do it kathy okay <laughs> Who were your partners and who did you practice with? Um, <coughs> Gilberto Benitez Santa Maria. All right. You asked the questions to Gilberto. Okay. Um, number one, mm -hmm. did you go to the work? Um, yes, I did. Yes, he did. All right. Number two, did you watch TV? Did you watch TV? Yes. Uh -huh. um, no, I didn't. He says, no, he didn't. Mm -hmm. The number three, did you drink coffee? No, I didn't. He says, no, I didn't. Yes. All right. He says, no, he didn't. Okay, good. So you choose the next one to participate, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Dennis Flamenco. All right. I think he's working. I don't know if he's going to be able to. Or you can choose somebody else. Okay. Hazel. Hazel. Yes. Boy. <laughs> I was with a uh, Roberto. Uh -huh. And I asked ask him, did you eat chicken chicken today? He says no, he didn't. All right. Did you go to work today? He says yes. He did. He did. Uh -huh. Did you talk with your partner yesterday? And yes, he did. Oh, nice. That's great. So you pick the next one. Okay. Uh, Gilberto ya participó. No, no. Okay. Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You work is today. Who was your partner, Mr. Gilberto? Uh, Kathy. Kathy was your partner. So what was yes. the first question? Yes, you work this today? Did you work? Yes, I, did, did you work today? Uh huh. And she answers. You work, you work, work. Cuando pone el did, no necesita poner el verbo en pasado porque ya tiene el auxiliar. Did you work today? Yo solo puse el verbo en pasado, no puse didn't. Uh, si usted. El did. Ajá, si usted le dice, you work today, lo que está haciendo es afirmando que ella trabajó. Pero lo que usted quiere hacer es preguntarle si trabajó o no. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, pues usted le tendría que decir, did you work today? Work today. Did you work today? Y yeah. ella, ¿qué le respondió? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ajá. Did you have a coffee? Did you have coffee today? I had a coffee today. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. She says, no, I didn't. Or she didn't. Uh-huh. Didn't. What did, else? Did read report this today? Did you read a report did, today? Did you read report this today? Yes, mm -hmm. I did. She says, yes, she did. did. All right. You choose the next person to participate, please. Uh, Rolando. All right. 
Rolando is very happy about. Oh no! <laughs> who was who was your okay. partner, Rolando? <laughs> is uh, is oh, me olvidé el nombre. Rolando. I don't remember. I know Rudy. It was Rudy. Ah, Rudy. Rudy yes. Rudy was your partner. It's true. Rudy. Rudy. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, did you work today? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. He says, yes, I did. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, did you, did you drive today? Did you drive today? And he said? Yes, I did. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. Did you take a shower today? <laughs> yes, I did. He said, yes, he did. <laughs> Right. Okay. No, I didn't. Nice question. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. <laughs> not today, only on Saturday. It's, it's, not... it's, it's not my turn. Once times a month. <laughs> Once, a month. <laughs> Once a week. All right. Yes. Who do you choose, Mr. Rolando? Uh, Mary. Mary. You are the chosen one. Okay. Did you study English today? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. I did. I did. did you eat pupusas today? Uh, for dinner. <laughs> uh, no, yes, I, I did. did. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. And who was your partner? <laughs> did you shop at the supermarket today? No. Um, Today. ¿A quién le hice las questions, Miss Mary? Um, a Roberto Carlos Alvarenga. Okay, and, he, and his answer was, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, no, he didn't. Okay. ¿Cómo se responde cuando, bueno, si... Si usted me está contando y quiere de, es como repetir exactamente las palabras de él, usted dice, he said, no, I didn't. Pero si usted quiere contar lo que él le contó, entonces dice, and he said, no, he didn't. Que él no mm. lo había hecho. Uh -huh. oh, Solo okay. cambia el sujeto. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. okay. Porque se está refiriendo a él. Mm. Uh -huh. Ok. Solo a dos is. All right. Choose another person. Um... Dennis Fleming. He's working. I think he's not going he's not able oh. to speak. He's at the store. But I work. Are you? Are you working, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Um William Roque. <laughs> Maybe Salvador wants to participate. Ah, Salvador Alberto. Uh -huh. Okay. You are the chosen one. Go. Uh, um, let me see. Um, Andrea Monge. Mm -hmm. You ask Andrea. I ask you, Andrea. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Is there? What was the question? The question is um, Did you work today? Mm -hmm. In my and case, the answer? <laughs> in my case, yes, I did. Oh, yes, you did. Uh huh. The second question: Did you eat this morning? Did you eat this morning? Uh huh. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. 
Third question, did you drive to home? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. All right, <clears throat> nice. Good. All right, is um, it? Yes, another one? Yes, uh, the last one. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you run to bed? Did you run? Yes. Okay. <laughs> In your case? Yes, I did, yes, but the... <laughs> <laughs> from 10 from 10 on really on. you run because you wanted to do exercise or because you have to run at work okay interesting well it's all right we're gonna continue no problem but keep it in mind, okay. okay, that for negative sentences in past, we use didn't. And for questions, we use did, the auxiliaries, right? Okay. So we're okay. going to read the experiences of Mr. Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres. So we have these two experiences. She says, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a, make, but a technician came to help me with it. He sold it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. And then Mr. Torres. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem. My car's problems too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Bye. Voy a dar un par de minutitos para que lean para ustedes mismos, right? And if you have any difficult words, identifican alguna palabra difícil, pues la podamos practicar. Yes? Yes. All right. Two minutes. Try to read both. Ambas historias. Not just one. Both stories. All right? Okay. Go.
All right, ready? I think yes. All right. I'm going to read it one more time and then you're going to practice reading with your partners, okay? Let me go. Once again, let me see. Oh yes, here we go. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Any question with any word? What does it mean payroll? The payroll, la planilla. El sistema de la planilla. Accounting. <laughs> okay. te cuesta. Anything else? Um, no. No, it's okay. Easy peasy. All right. Beside, beside all that is aparte de eso. Aparte de todo eso, además de todo eso. <laughs> besides all that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. You can say besides okay. that. Yeah, besides all that is to emphasize. Yes? Yes. Yeah. All right. So you're going to read. Primero escuchen a su compañero leer si hay alguna dificultad o algo con lo que le puedan apoyar en pronunciation o así. Luego leen ustedes or vice versa, ¿ok? Ready? Okay. Ready, ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Let's see, I'm going to recreate the groups, I think. Yes, here we go. He Okay. Ya lo pueden ver. Oh, sí. Sí se ve la imagen. Okay. Um... Este, ¿Empieza usted o empiezo yo? Como guste. Ok. Ay, um, qué Miss <coughs> Mendoza. I have a problem with the iron system, but a technician come to help me with it. He solved it but he didn't say anything. He even shared me for a piece he broke, broken. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Based, based it all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Mr. Torres, I have a problem with the car's engine, so I call it for assistance. Assistances. The me mechanic was really good. He was there really fast. 
and he was quick to fix my car problem too. He gave me the, the time about the incident and he gave me a report of him. Then I started the engine, engineering and everything was, was perfect. Okay. Igual, yo hay unas que no las conozco. Ok. Next. Next. Este, bueno. I had a problem with the pi pilot system, but a te technical come the help the help me with is the he solving is but the didn't say anything he had been charge charge me for a price he broke he gave me a copy of the report but Problem with my with the power. Of, I had a problem with the power of system, but a technical come to help help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged charging me for a piece he broke. He gave he gave me a copy of the report but I, but I did understand it besides all that I forgot to mention that he came very late Mr. Torres I had a problem with the cars in Jank so I called for assistance the mechanic was re really keen he was there really fast and he was kicked to fix my car problem too he got he got he gave me detail about the incident and he gave gave siempre me confundo con esta dos he gave me he gave me a report it of it. Then I started the engine for everything was perfect. Okay. Bien, yo creo que algunas palabras que tendríamos que mejorar es bueno para mí me cuesta la technician technician si es verdad ahí se es technician technician ok technician. exacto technician technician mm -hmm. okay. I had a problem with the payroll system but a, te but a technician came to help me with it a mí me cuesta esa unión del, del it la verdad es que no se me hace ah. muy común en la conversación pero Ajá. aquí lo han utilizado en todo Came to help me with it. He solved it. Understand and, it. Uh -huh, but he didn't say anything. He even char charged charge me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. 
yes. una sola vez, understand, sí. it. understand it. Lo que pasa es que ya, ajá, en la pronunciación, en realidad no se hace, normalmente no se hace la separación, sino que va como de corrido. Understand Ajá. it. Sí, de hecho, bueno, aquel día estaba viendo yo de que hay una técnica que usan los nativos, de que ellos este, como que van uniendo ¿no? las palabras. Entonces, Ajá. por eso cuando los oímos hablar, a veces no entendemos nosotros qué dicen, porque... Ellos como que unen las palabras. Contractan bastante. Contractan mm -hmm. bastante. Y, pero lo curioso es que ese it está más utilizado en el Mr. Mendoza que en el Mr. Torres. Porque Ajá. si usted ven el otro no está, I have a problem with the car. Ok. Los dos tienen un problema. <risa> oh, sí. yeah. Yeah. Mm, es... mm. Con Mr. Mendoza hay algo que, que, que pueda ayudar. <coughs> en ella tuvo problemas con el sistema, dice ahí. El sistema de eh, planillas. Ajá. El, el técnico, ahí donde dice, por a uh, técnica, come to help me. Llegó el técnico, pero... Le, le llegó a ayudar, pero este... Ayudarla con eso. Uh -huh, le llegó a ayudar con eso, a solventar el... Él solventó. Uh -huh, dice... solven it. Uh -huh. Pero no, este, este, say anything. Pero no dijo nada. O sea que sí, pero como que fue muy lento. Quebró una, dice, he even charged me for a piece he broke. Quebró una pieza y se la cobró a ella. Este, la pieza que él dañó, que él quebró. Le dio una copia de, del reporte, dice. Y... But I didn't... Él bueno. me dio una copia del reporte. Uh -huh. Pero después de donde dice. Pero yo no lo entendí. Para ti den un destino. No sé qué. Es. Además de uh -huh. todo eso. Bueno, eh, además de todo eso, dice que sin mencionar que llegó tarde, dice. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Así tuvo pro, eh, de,
All right. Who's a good candidate to read? Let's see. Mr. Danilo, ¿quién propone para que lea? Mm -hmm. You can Robert. You think Robert can read? <laughs> Thank you, Danilo. <laughs> <laughs> Robert is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Robert is going to read Mrs. Mendoza or... Mr. Torres, you choose. Ah, okay, Mrs. Mendoza. All right, go ahead. Mrs. Mendoza, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. With it, he solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged my for a piece of bro. He gave me a copy of the report but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention so that he came very late. Mm, terrible. That technician was bad. Yes. <laughs> bad right. service. Bad service, exactly. All right, so Robert, you decide who is going to read about Mr. Torres. Okay, Mr. Torres. Uh, Gilberto, can you hear with the read? Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a problem with the car engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car problem. So he got me to say about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine, everything worked perfect. All right, any question? Here, let's identify the verse in past. We have sentences in affirmative. Do we have sentences in negative? Of course we do. Yes. I had a problem. This is the first verb in past. Let me just, all right, let me just get this oh. one. I had. So you were going to identify the verbs in past. I had a problem with the payroll system. What a technician? Came. Came to help me with it. He? So Sold it. It's in past. But he didn't say anything. That is negative. Start. Right? He okay. didn't say anything. He even charged. He even charged me. Charged me for a piece he broke he broke <laughs> he gave me a copy of the report but, but he didn't but, but I, I didn't, didn't understand I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't understand it besides all that forgot I forgot to mention he came. came late. Bye. Vamos a hacer lo mismo en el other paragraph. Bye. Identificar los verbs en past en circle. Y luego las sentences que estén en past pero en negative lo van a subrayar. Yes? Yes. Okay. Two minutes. In the meantime, I connect my computer. Hold.
All right, ready? Yes, teacher. Of course. Let's see, the first verb in pass. How? How? I had a problem, right? With the cars, engine, so? Cold. I Cold. called for assistance. The mechanic was, was. was really kind. He was. was. He was there really fast. There really and fast. He, he was, was quick to fix quick. my first problem too. He gave, gave, gave me details about the incident gave. and gave. he gave, gave me a report of it. Then gave. started. I started, started the engine and everything. Was. Was. was was perfect no negative sentences no nice all right good correct yes, yes. nice just one second i just need to share the pdf so you know where we are working. Just get closer. I mean, just one thing. This are the problems. So look, at, there is another little problem. <laughs> Terminaron estas sentences. Did you finish these sentences in simple past? No. Negative? No, yet. I no. There was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody finished. Really. Bye. Vamos a dar un pequeño break para que las compartan o el progreso de lo que llevan, al menos. <laughs> Y luego las, las resolvemos acá, no problem. La primera sería I am didn't satisfy. No, no, porque está en pasado. Man. Sí, I am satisfied. Satisfied with my lap. Que si está satisfecho con su laptop. Ajá, yo estoy satisfecho con mi laptop. Uh -huh. Entonces I am not porque como ya el verbo está en pasado. Ah, entonces sería I I was I was en pasado uh -huh. ajá I was I was satisfied o ya no se le pone la el que el, el pasado al verbo Ajá. No, porque como ya va como auxiliar el, el verbo to be, 
Ya no es necesario. Marta escribe una carta. She didn't. Uh -huh. She didn't write a letter. Mm. We were. We have. Ajá. Entonces sería Marta. Satisfied. Wasn't. Ajá. Number one. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Number two. Marta wasn't. Wasn't write a letter to her boss. O didn't. Marta. Didem. Was. Didem lleva a la Marta. Marta, Marta. Ah, right. Como puedes, puedes negar también, pero como ahí Ajá. no ves el. Ajá, no, como no ves no el. Está, ¿verdad? La no ves solo que el, va y nega el, el tiempo paz, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, porque ahí en la, en la, en el recuadro de arriba te dice, did you call a mechanic to check your car? Respuesta Ajá. corta, yes, I did. No, I did. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, no, espérame, yo estoy en otro, otro cuadro. Mira, me estoy viendo otro cuadro. ¿Qué pasó? ¿O no compartí la imagen que era? ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Pero yo estaba viendo otro. No, vos sí estabas I, compartiendo I el cuadro. Ah, news. ok. Negari. Exactly. We were so happy with... We... Yeah. Exactly. So the, the other one, Pedro and Pedro me, and me didn't drive, didn't drive, didn't drive to, the company. To, to the company, yeah, yeah, it's like that, five, the principal didn't send many emails. Exactly. Principal. Principal didn't send many emails. I think Una it's send, no sense. I have a question. Yeah, send. Solo send, ¿verdad? No sense. ¿Eh? Send, no sense. No, send. No, sería send solamente. No All sino. right. Without the S. Send. Perfect. Uh, I think that the program was too slow. The program wasn't was, wasn't wasn't too slow. Wasn't wasn't. All right, perfect. In the first one, uh, are you going to correct? I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Que había dicho I was, pero es I wasn't. Uh -huh. Y en la tercera sería, porque es in negative, we weren't. Bueno, weren't. Bueno. weren't. Uh -huh. Perfecto, compañero. Ok, it's good. Perfect. El, lo que pasa es que ah, no ah, verdad ajá pero espérame sí vaya eh, Pedro, Pedro en mí en mí didn't try try to to the company to, ajá ajá 
Correcto. Didn't drive. En mí está hablando de, de una de la está hablando de Pedro y de él, ¿verdad? Correcto, En está mí. hablando de dos personas. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces vos vas a volver a escribir Pedro y en mí didn't. Didn't, didn't, didn't drive, ¿verdad? Didn't drive to the company. Didn't drive to the company. Uh -huh. Ajá. Number five. Uh, the principal sent many emails. The principal didn't. The principal didn't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The principal es como el director. Ah, uh, es el director, o sea, es el principal. Ajá, como el manager o algo así. Uh, Ajá. The okay. principal sent... Uh, ah, the principal, the, the principal didn't. Didn't, 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 didn't send, send. Sin, la e, sin la S. Ajá. Ajá, porque como ahí está en... La auxiliar también. Ajá. Didn't send many, many emails. emails. Uh, number six. Number six. The program the, the is program. too slow. The was program slow. wasn't. Ah, porque lleva la eh, ver tu vive. It was. Ajá. Ajá. It is. Ajá, es verdad. The program is wasn't. Ajá, wasn't. Too slow. Solo seis son. Too slow. Eso me ap Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Complete now. Yes. So yes, clear. Yes. Great. All right. Here we go. I am satisfied with my laptop. Mm -hmm. In past negative, I. What's happening? I wasn't I satisfied. Yes. Yes. With my laptop. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. I was not, right? Maria writes a letter to her boss in past negative. Maria. Mad. Didn't. 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 Right. Didn't write a letter to her boss. I married. <laughs> 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 if you don't write a letter to your boss, it doesn't give you permission. <laughs> right? We are so happy with the food service in past negative. We weren't so happy with the food service. We weren't so happy with the food service. Yes. We weren't so happy with the food service. It was good. It was not so good. It was bad. Yes. Right. Pedro and me drive to the company. Pedro. Pedro and me didn't drive. Okay, in this case, I can say Pedro and I, but Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Yes? 
Yes. yes. Pedro and me didn't drive. Pedro and I would be more formal. Okay. Okay. Because me is similar. Me is not very formal. <laughs> no. Uh... Because you listen to me. But I do actions. I, the okay. pronoun personal is I. Pedro and I, my family and I. You and I. You and I study English at night, every night. <laughs> that sounds like a tongue twister. The principal sends many emails. The principal didn't, didn't in past send. negative, didn't send many emails. Yes? Yes. That's right. And the last one, the program is too slow. The program past negative washing wasn't too slow. You can say too or very slow. The promo wasn't very slow. The program wasn't too slow. Yes? Correct? Correct. Good. Bye. Habemos arribado. Ya, can I erase? O aún están tomando nota. Are you taking notes? Or it was correct already? Ya estaba correcto. It's correct. It was all correct. <laughs> it was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect at the beginning. <laughs> yes? yes? Yes. Correct. You don't need more time, right? No? Enough. No. Bye. Enough is enough. By esto lo que estábamos leyendo del mis, de la Mrs. Mendoza y Mr. Torres. Y aquí yes. tenían two little questions acerca de ellos. Very, very, very basic. <laughs> Read the information, ¿no? Es que ya lo olvidaron la, los problemas de Mrs. Mendoza y Mr. Torres. Porque then we no. have a problem. <laughs> okay. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? No, she didn't. No, she didn't or yes, she did? Yes, she didn't. Yes, she did. Porque se le atascó el, el yes, system del, pay, del payroll, right? So it would be, yes, she did. She did. Uh -huh. Did Mr. Torres call the best, I'm oh, sorry, did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No. No, he he didn't. No, he didn't. He called he called the mechanic, right? The mechanics. Uh -huh. Unless that is that the mechanic was his best friend, but we don't know. Yeah, yes, era todo el reto de este reading. That was the challenge. Yes. Yes. It was yes. very easy. Easy, it was easy. super easy, I know. Bye. Y aquí tenemos, ¡tara! <laughs> <laughs> La fórmula mágica de cómo estructurarlas. Yes, no question. Empezando con did, el sujeto y el verbo en base form y las short answers de cómo se responde. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Did they sign the letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Y acá, ¿cómo puedo? Este es un tip. Tómelo muy en cuenta. Because I shared this tip with you before you answered this exercise. Un tip que les puedo dar para este tipo de ejercicio es que primero lean la respuesta para saber qué es lo que tienen que poner en la pregunta, ¿ya? Por ejemplo, si aquí la respuesta es, yes, I did, I sent the email. 
¿Qué es lo que le tuvieron que haber preguntado para que usted responda eso? Did you can send an email? Did you send the email? <laughs> Exacto. Así de simple. Did you send the email or did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email, right? Entonces, ese es el tip. Lea primero la respuesta. Una vez usted sabe qué es lo que dice la respuesta, usted sabe cuál tuvo que haber sido la pregunta. Obviamente, acá todas las questions van a iniciar con... Did. Did. Exactly. Vaya, doy tres minutitos para que hagan estas questions. Esto está easy, easy. Y solo son cinco little questions y la primera ya la resolvimos, así que no excuses. ¿Ya? Three minutes. Ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Oh, of course. Okay. Let me see. One second, please. Okay. 
All right. So I'm going to, yes, I'm going to take notes. You're going to tell me what the right question is, and I'm going to write it down here. No problem. Let's see. Gilberto, the first one. Do you remember what the first question is? Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Remember, did you send the email? Yes, I did. Send. I sent the email. Yeah? Yes, I did. Okay. Andres. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Do you have the number two? Yeah. All right. Did, you, did they check the package? Did they check the package? The package. Sorry. Did they check the package? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Oh my God, what a mistake. <laughs> All right. Next, number three, Robert. Okay, number three. Did it cut on again? Did, in this case, the subject is the car. Did the car turn Turn on. on again? Volve a encender el carro, volve a arrancar, right? Yes, okay. it did. The car turned on again. Yes? The car. Mm -hmm. okay. Hazel? Number four? Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, no problem. Number four. I have a doubt here, and I will say... Did they receive a copy of the receipt? Mm -hmm. It can be, did you actually? Like when you okay. answer for a group of people, you say, yes, we, right? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? Yes, we did. Right? That would be. Or no, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt in this case, right? <laughs> All right. And number five, anybody? Mary? Did? Did he bow? Did he buy in this case? Because the verb is in base form. Because you already have the auxiliary did. Did he buy? Oh, okay. A new tire. A new tire. Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Right? Correct? Correct, correct, correct? Yes. No. Correct. Not yet. En cual no nos salió tan correct. Which number? Number three. Did the car? Did the car? Did it the car? I no, could... because uh -huh, si ya pone it, el it sustituye al car. Uh -huh. Y usamos el pronombre cuando ya estamos como mencionando es lo mismo, eh, ya sea objeto, persona, una segunda o tercera vez. Okay. Y, y ya sabemos a qué nos estamos refiriendo. The number four. Did you? Ajá, porque cuando preguntan con you, si usted responde en singular, es I. Porque es como mm. que le digan tú. Y si yes. responde en plural, es we. Como dicen, no, sí, nosotros. Oh, uh -huh. ok. Uh -huh. Perfect. Good. I forgot. <laughs> Olvide borrar. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bye, déjenme. Voy a compartir algo que I have on the presentation. And this, by esto del past tense, yo les decía al inicio de esta unidad una belleza. 
no es por, <ríe> por molestar ni nada, pero el que logra manejar el, el tiempo pasado ya casi digamos que habla inglés. Como ya está pasando el 50%. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Así que, ¿por qué? Pues son varios detallitos, ¿verdad? Que la pronunciación de los verbos regulares, que el auxiliar para las oraciones negativas, que los verbos irregulares hay que memorizarse las formas. So, all those things. Así que, esto ya lo vimos. Aquí vamos. Hablábamos de que los regular verbs tienen tres pronunciaciones. Bella, por cierto. La gran mayoría se pronuncia como, en realidad, la gran categoría es la de D. Estas son las reglas de spelling. A la gran mayoría de los verbos regulares solo le pongo ed. Visit, visit, start, start, watch, watch, rain, rain, finish, finish, listen, listen, work, work, walk, walk, want, wanted. Hay algunos que ya terminan en E y no puedo agregar otra E más, ¿verdad? Entonces solo pongo la D. El caso de like, liked, arrive, arrive, like dance, that. dance, leave, dance. lived, love, loved, close, closed, taste, tasted, use, used. Vale, yes, yes, yes. si el verbo terminara en Y, entonces, por lo general, si es una sola sílaba precedida, esta Y precedida de una vocal, Simple, solo pongo ed, play, play, enjoy, enjoy, stay, stay. Pero sí hay aquellos casos de que termina en y, pero la, esta y está precedida de una consonante. Entonces, como el caso de study, antes de la y tengo una d. Entonces, esta y sí se pierde, o más bien dicho, se convierte en latín, en i. Y digo study, study. Cry, cry, try, try. Esa lámina ya se la voy a compartir. Don't worry. Try. Vale. Try. Y tenemos try. aquellos verbos que son una sola sílaba que tienen como la, la secuencia de consonante, vocal, consonante. Esa, son la, esa es la terminación y es una sola sílaba. Entonces duplico la última consonante. Stop, stop. Plan, plan. Pero travel son dos sílabas. A veces la gente sí lo hace, como los británicos, pero no hay necesidad. ¿Ya? Va, esto es en spelling. Esto es en la forma de deletrearlos correctamente los verbos regulares. Pero estos verbos regulares tienen la particularidad de que la pronunciación es tres diferentes pronunciation. Es la misma ed, pero que dependiendo con el último sonido que el verbo en presente termine, si lo voy a pronunciar de tres formas diferentes. No todos los verbos regulares se van a pronunciar como in, no todos se van a pronunciar como t, ni todos se van a pronunciar como d. Yes. Aquellos que en base form terminen en t o d, automáticamente yo sé que al poner la ed va a ser ed. Want, wanted. Need, needed. Yes. Esta es una categoría bien fácil porque solo son dos. Dos sonidos. Al terminar con T o D, automáticamente digo ed. Wanted, needed. Luego viene esta categoría, que es los verbos que en base form o en simple present terminen en P, K, F. Estos son sonidos, no necesariamente letras. Si vamos a hacer los sonidos, son aquellos sonidos que llevan como un flujo de aire al, al pronunciarse. Por ejemplo, cuando se pronuncia la hay como una explosión. ¿Sí? Entonces, el verbo help, por ejemplo, termina en una P. Entonces, al agregar la ED, esta ED automáticamente es como un sonido de T. Entonces, el pasado dice, él no dice helped, sino que dice helped. Yes. Look, looked. Si se fija, también hay como un, como un chasquido, digamos. Un sonido. El aire que, que, que explota hace como el sonido. La F es como cuando se opla el fuego. F. Entonces, al hacer esto, sniff. Sniff. 
las, la combinación de la GH hace el sonido de F también. Entonces digo las, las. What, wash. También hay como mucho aire al producir el sonido. Watch. Esto es como. La, cuando hay dos S juntas, generalmente es como ese sonido. Como cuando uno dice. Sh, sh, ¿Ya? Entonces se escucha el aire. El de la SH es. Sh, como cuando uno dice. Sh, cállense, ¿verdad? Y el de las como cuando se desinfla. Entonces dice kissed. No le decimos kissed, no, kissed. Dance, la C, a veces también suena como eso. Danced, fix, fixed. X, X. Es el sonido de la X. Y la gran mayoría que les decía que se pronuncian como D cuando terminen L, N, R. Esta generalmente es como rr, rr. En español es más fuerte. En inglés es como más leve. G, v, v, que es el sonido de la V. Que en español nos cuesta porque la pronunciamos mal. Entonces nos cuesta saber qué palabra se escribe con V y cuál palabra se escribe con B. Labial. Pero eso es V. v labial, labio dental. Son la, labio dental. Y, la, y la, también aquí va la otra que está acá, rubbed. Esta S, ustedes, porque no estaba aquí la S, pero a veces la S sola suena como una Z, como una Z. Entonces decimos used. Yes o closed. Entonces esto se pronuncia como una D. Y digo cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved. Used, amazed, robbed, claimed. Bah, cuando estamos hablando en pasado, es cierto, no exageramos estos sonidos, pero sí es algo de lo que debemos estar conscientes. Porque muchas veces lo que des, determina, o más bien dicho en nuestro listening, deducimos que es una acción en pasado es por la expresión de tiempo. Cuando decimos yesterday, last night, last week, entonces yo digo, ah, la acción la realizó la semana pasada o oh, el día de ayer. Pero sí es algo que, es, que sí existe. Pues no, no es algo que, no, yo lo voy a pronunciar en presente. Y yo digo, I helped yesterday. En realidad estoy diciendo, yo ayudo ayer. Pero si yo digo, I helped my mom yesterday. Ahí sí digo, yo ayudé. So that's why it is necessary to pronounce. Y en esta categoría del sound D también entran todos los sonidos vocálicos, como follow. O es el, la son, el sonido que hace la W. Entonces, al agregar ED, digo followed. Enjoy. Enjoyed. Play. Played. Try. Tried. Continue, continued, right? Va, igual esta lámina también se la voy a compartir. Don't worry. Yes. Yes. Okay, aquí tenemos otro vocabulary, pero déjeme regalarme un ratito. Solo quiero, I just want to share this slides so that you have something to practice. One second, please. Just making the photo. Let me see. Bye. Ah, además, le voy a compartir también un link. Ahorita se lo voy a compartir. Para que ese, ese link tiene varios ejercicios para que podamos practicar. Tiene varios exercises del past tense, no solo de la pronunciación de los verbos. Tiene oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas, eh, verbos irregulares también. So, it has a lot of exercises. Ahorita se los comparto. Give me one second here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It should be this one. Mm 
Vale, ahorita les voy a poner el link. Traten de ingresar y me, y me confirman si pueden ingresar. Please. ¿Dónde lo mando? En WhatsApp. Ok. Ya es teacher. Va, ese es el final. En cada uno de los botones que tiene el, la página, va, lo voy a ver, lo voy a redireccionar a una nueva página y cada una de esas páginas tiene un ejercicio diferente. Para que puedan practicar. A ver. Tiene Learn, Videos, Practice, Story, Test. Y la página de salida, ¿verdad? ¿no? Yes. Yes. Ok. ¿Alguna dificultad con la plataforma? ¿Any difficulties? ¿Algún ejercicio que todavía... No nos salga. ¿Todo bien? Yo tengo uno, pero es de la unidad 4. De la unidad 4. Ah, va, ya se nos adelantó. Pero si quiere, digamos. Es que en la pregunta número 5 de la tarea 19 uh -huh. es una de completar, es el uso de if. Mm. Entonces, ahí la escribí en el chat, ya no hay que hacerlo. <risa> Va, pero ahorita me voy a regresar a la sección 4 que ya me pidió un solo el examen. Va. Ah, ese ya lo hice, pero ahí nice. no paso. De la tarea 19, me dice. La tarea 19. La número 4. La última. Number 5. Yes. Okay, if the incomes. Yes. ¿Qué le ha puesto? If the incomes are good, an employee receive a bonus. Receives without S. ¿Y si se lo acepta? No. Nada. Nada. No. Vaya, lo que pasa es que este ya es un tema de conditionals. Y los conditionals okay. generalmente, como usted dice, si fuera así, es algo hipotético. Entonces el uh -huh. verbo para empezar va en pasado. <risa> dice okay. si los ingresos fueran buenos entonces ahí se tendría que decir if the incomes were good well, ya probé así también y digo yo que no me funcionó and then, and then allí uh -huh. el resultado tendría que ser con would an okay. employee would receive a bonus Recibe. ah con would no había intentado Uh -huh. Inténtelo con Google. No, no lo acepto tampoco. Lo acepto. Receive, pero el verbo sería receive así como tal, ¿verdad? Base form. La verdad es que sí lo han puesto así, pero en caso hipotético, mmm, déjenme ver. En caso hipotético sería would receive, pero digamos que es un condicional... El first conditional, no es un second condition. O sea, un condicional más apegado a la realidad. Uh -huh. Y si le pone, if the incomes are good, an employee receives a bonus. Con ya ese. Ya lo intenté también. Ya lo intenté. Vamos a ver. Are good. Uh -huh. Y receives con ese, por el employee, que es un singular. Sí, también. Ah, así si sí lo dejo. If the incomes are good, an employee receives sí, a ah, bonus. Pues es, ah, es, es algo sí, más, sí, sí. es un real conditional, entonces. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, ya decía yo. Que no le sí, 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 un dejo tema pasar. tan avanzado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, porque si fuera el second conditional, ahí sí sería con el verbo en pasado en, el, en la condicional y en el resultado con would. Ok, ok, uh -huh. thank you, teacher. Por ejemplo, se dice, if I were famous, 
I would mm -hmm. live in London. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. If yes. I were rich, I would have a house in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. Pero todo mm -hmm. es imaginario. Okay. Todo es hipotético. Pero en este caso of es un course. real conditional. Por eso lo he puesto así. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. We're going to have the attendance and happy Mother's Day to your mother and the ones that are mothers too. Okay. Let me see the attendance for tonight. Andrea Monge. Carlos. Dennis. Present, Miss. Present. Okay. Gilberto. Present, teacher. Hazel. Present. Jose. Julius. Cesar. Catherine, Beatriz, Kathy Briseida, present, Mary, present teacher, Carlos, Roberto Carlos, present teacher, <ríe> Carlos Roberto, ya <ríe> sé, sí, he conocido personas que tienen así invertido el nombre, <ríe> yes, ajá, uh -huh. because I have many students, so I remember, Rolando Danilo, present teacher, Rudy, Salvador, Susana, Andrea Urbina, right? Virginia and William. Mm. Right. Ayer participó Robert. And yes. Just, ah, and Rolando ya lo había sustituido. So it would be. Yes. So I invite him. <laughs> you substituted him. Tomorrow. So, no, it's holiday. Tomorrow is a holiday. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. So I'll see you on Thursday. Rudy, are you available? Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Not here. Not even here. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. After Rudy is Salvador. <clears throat> Mr. Salvador? Hello. Are you available to participate on the one-on-one -on -one session for 10 minutes? No, in another occasion. <laughs> all right. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> it's all right. No Thank problem. you. It's all right. Don't worry. Let's see. Then we got... Okay, nobody then. <laughs> nobody volunteers? No volunteers either. Okay, no problem. It's all right. Take care. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. And see you on Thursday. Okay, teacher. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. God bless you. Bye. Good night, class. Bye. 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 Bye.